Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mods installed, I'm your host Class Fate. It's episode 63, we are here at the Randvag's Fast and there is a There's a staff in here that we're supposed to get for Enther Mr. Enther He is the College Excuse me, and I'm still burping. So this is a land of Draugr and ghosts, from what I remember. And these guys don't want to fight, but they have to. Subjugated ghosts. These ghosts drop ectoplasm, which can be used for fortified destruction, which you do not understand how happy that makes All me. Alright, folks, we're back. We had a little bit of a mistake here. A little bit of a mistake that resulted in my own death twice, which is disappointing, to say the least. A couple of problems. One of them is that Serana is quick to... Quick to attack me when I accidentally attack her person. I don't like that. I don't want to hit Serana. Okay. Let's grab the ectoplasm from him. This is this is the problem. This is part of the problem. I'm gonna save the game right here with a quick save. This there's right away in the early part of the dungeon. Hey, and you know it's designed to make you fall right through there. So let's not do that. Word of power learned peace times peace. And the chest is empty because it's a big fat F you. It wants you to fall through here. Which I don't really want to do. Did Serana just fall through there? Nope, she's there. So I died two ways. The first way was Serana killed me. Basically, because I accidentally attacked the Draugr that she raised. I thought it was a Draugr Draugr. I did not think it was just hers. So we can't, I'm not going to fall through there. There is nothing there. Okay. We have to go this way. Which didn't realize this whole high part was up here. This is kind of cool. This goes through here. Stay. I'm sorry. This isn't what I want. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. This isn't what I want. Ectoplasm. This guy here. Living the high life on Nord Mead. A 
elixir of alteration. Alright, so I take it that we have to jump back down here. This is fun. So we're gonna go back through here. There's gonna be a gate that is now gonna be open. What I want is all their ectoplasm. Oh, here comes this guy. He's got uh, flames. Okay. Ice form. Magic. I need to do. Take myself big time from as much fire as possible. have a plan for that too. Always have a plan and it almost always involves potions. No, don't you slow use paralysis. Shield the warlock. Dead. Right where he belongs. Renvig's fast key, and then he's got two really nice staffs. Sealed staff summons a subjugated ghost for 120 seconds wherever the caster is pointed. That's awesome. And the staff of Tandil creatures, people up to level 15, won't fight. That's the staff Anther obviously wants. This is his little underground lair. That must be the way out. He's been down here subjugating ghosts. This place. This is where you fall down. You fall down right into one of these places. One of them. I don't know which one it is. Not that it matters. Circlet of Destruction. Da 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 da. Grab that stuff, but I'm gonna be very, very full. There's a stone of Berenzaia, that's awesome. Silt's journal. Alright, never ceases to amaze me how many fall from my simple trap. I may have to consider tweaking it a bit, though. Many of them in recent months have been dying the second they hit the cage floor. Putting a foot or two of water in didn't help either. In fact, it may actually be making things worse. Last one to fall in broke both his arms and legs. Proceeded to float there and eventually drown. If it weren't for the water, I would have had a great time twisting his mind until I decided to end him. Captured another one. Finally! It's definitely true that whatever these orcs gain in size and strength, they lose in mental capacity. I'm amazed they can even speak. I'm saying that when he gets out, he'll break me in half like a twig. Persuasive, isn't he? Anyway, I told him that if he holds his head under the water for as long as this candle wick lasts, I'd let him go free. Stupid thing drowned within minutes. I never tire of this. I haven't captured a soul for days, and the last victim died on impact. Of course, I was still able to reclaim his soul, but without the thrill of killing nor any kind of torture, the process lacks that special something. Claim souls I've summoned with decent targets, but taking a mortal's life is so much more sweet. Well, in that case. My gentlemen who were raised, I'm sorry you guys fell like that. That's tough. When you can come out with me as a as a thrall of sorts. Where he kept everybody in all those cages, eh? His sick twisted mind of some sort of clown or so you fall down through there, there's the thing. Oh, okay, I got you. Alright, well, if I want to get out of here, which I do, most definitely do. That goes through there. Here's the way. So, Rhinemeg's fast is not. not a very. Oh, 
It's not a very uh, long or deep dungeon, is it? It's just... That's cool. It gave me some ectoplasm. Oh, what's this wooden door? It's in here. Stairs out, maybe? What is this? This is gonna be locked. It's gonna be... Oh, nice. There's gonna be... Boss of Grand Soul Gym. Wow. Nice stuff. Oh, open to Skyrim. Okay. I'll do that. Hmm. Run the Vags fast. Quite the fast old dungeon. And we know there's a there's a dragon now. What are we looking at? Oh, there's a thing down there. Lane match on. What's down there? A woman? Grab this. Fire assaults. Who are you? Maik, the liar. He's gonna cower. It's like, ah, this is bad. Alright, and she killed her. Perfect. Well, we were close to that dragon up there. But now we're a fair poke away from it. Um, we can always get him later. Killing another dragon is not the most important thing in the world right now. What is important is we're going to get back to Whiterun and we're going to sell everything we have. And if we have the stuff, we're going to make Daedric Armor. Because remember, folks... This is what we're trying to make, the Daedric Reaper armor. And it requires, first and foremost, it requires making Daedric armor. You have to make the Daedric armor, then you have to make the Corrupted Hearts, and then you can make the Daedric Reaper armor. And when I make the Daedric Reaper armor, then I'm going to want to put the very best enchantments that I have on it. And that's going to take a little bit of planning, but, um, I think when I do that, I'll throw a little spreadsheet on the screen to show you guys how I optimize that. Because that's really what it's about. At this point in the game, uh, getting up there in levels, starting to become more or less as powerful as I'm going to be. I'm not going to get much more powerful than this now. Uh, When I get the Daedric Reaper armor, then I'm done. That's the last. <laughs> Kinds peace. Yeah, I hit. We don't have any. Okay. When I make that Daedric Reaper armor, that's the last upgrade that I. Get. I'll play the rest of the game with the Daedric Reaper armor as long as I can get the enchantments on it that I want. I want three pieces of gear that can give me full coverage for conjuration and destruction. So three pieces of gear that give that end up giving me a casting cost of zero for all conjuration and destruction spells. Right now it takes four pieces of gear because my alchemy wasn't as good when I made those pieces. Should be able to do it in three pieces. The rest of it gets two hand, um, kind of like how I have it set up now. Two hand, it'll regenerate stamina, uh, and then maybe a little heavy armor, and then it's kind of good to go. Like, here's my current setup. This is Conjuration and Destruction spells, 32%. Two handed attacks and heavy armor skill. Two-handed attacks and stamina regeneration, which really helps as a vampire during the day. Conjuration destruction. Two-handed attacks and heavy armor. 
Conjuration Destruction, Conjuration Destruction, Two-Handed, and Heavy Armor. And I'll re-do all, all these because I'll be more powerful with my alchemy than Two-Handed, Heavy Armor. So, you can see, that's, that's how I set up my Battle Mage. That way, I can cast all Conjuration Destruction's spells for zero. I have as much gear on me as possible for two-handed slashing so that allows you to conjure your buddy zap stuff from range when anything gets too close switch to your two-handed sword and slice it up that way and that is the essence to me of being a battle mage in this game and this is the most viable build that I found for it on legendary difficulty you can play a much simpler build on adept level or on the lower difficulty levels you just put a spell in your left hand and a one handed sword in your right hand and you just kind of like shoot stuff and paralyze things later on when you get it and slash with your sword it's, it's fine when everything's got low hit points and you don't got to worry about being hit but on the two hardest difficulty levels and especially legendary I have found that this is the best way to play it Alright, White Run. We're back, and you're all fixed up. There's no more There's no more burning parts. This some junk that still needs to be picked up, but you guys did good. Clean the city up. Battle of White Run is over. We're gonna go home. Put stuff away. I am personally gonna see if I can max out my smithing this episode. because it is really close if we take a look my smithing is 97 so there's not much to it I might have something got some good pieces looking to protect yourself well, or deal kinda. some damage New sapphire gemstone bow I'll give you that all this crossest stuff is mine some of it just needs to be put away don't forget to check inside the shop if you need I should be transmuting while I'm doing all this because I have some iron to transmute. I like to hang on to the witch plate, so that's what I'm going to do here. So let's get rid of stuff. Dragon bones. I got six dragon scales. Those are great because those are. Those things are heavy. All the unused. I'll never use the Mask of Cloud Vile or the Necromancer am Amulet, so get rid of those. These travel cloaks can go away. I What I found is that, um, in fact, I'm going to grab those travel cloaks because I want to be sure about this. I believe I cannot use those travel cloaks for enchanting, so let's find out. Because I don't see them anywhere here. Let's go travel cloak. What can I enchant with those? It's very limited. All I can do is this. Now, I can do it better than what they can do it, probably. This is increased magic resistance by 20%. Um, if we go in here and we put on all of our Krosis stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all over across the stuff. And we go in here and we say Fortify Enchanting. So I'm looking at three snowbirds. Items enchanted are 38% strong. And the fortified destruction. Image targets health. Well, that's just gonna have to work. So I do that. Go back to here. all my battle mage stuff back on. If I come out here, what can I do for resist magic? I'm going to do this. Ocean of Fortify Enchanting. 38% better. I'm going to grab the... I'll, I'll 
grand soul gem. We got a bunch of them. Travel cloak. If I do resist magic for 27% and resist fire by 64 because as a as a vampire I take fire damage. So I'm going to say this is So that's going to be my new cloak, battle mage cloak, right here. Magic, 27%, fire resistance, 64. That's pretty darn good. Okay, let's see about what else we have. We're at 764. We're, we're heavy because we have a bunch of stabs we may need to get rid of, and Dremen's bow and things like that. So I'm not so concerned about that stuff. What I am concerned about is we got all this, all this necklaces and things like that. I don't really need to worry about enchantments anymore. So I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff like this and this and this. And this is same for later. Old diamond ring. Because these things add up. The weight adds up. Okay. And then I want to grab out of here. Dwarven metal ingots. Anything I can make. I got an extra pair of enchanting supplies in here. Oh no. Out of the cupboard. What am I talking about? Dwarven metal ingots. Ebony armor. Ebony ore. Which I can turn into ebony ingots. Iron ingots. I don't need that many. Quicksilver ore. Silver ingot, silver ore, great. That's the stuff I need. Alright, let's go make some stuff. We're gonna try to get our smithing up. Up to that magical level. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I'm an idiot. But you knew that already. Damn this. We gotta make... Gold ore. Reaper gem fragments, don't care about those. We're gonna make stuff. I do this, and while we're here, it's a little harsher outside, but I have like a million potions. So let's go to potion of regenerate magic. So while we're outside, we can do this. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Dragon bone. I'm a dragon skill, Evan Sale boots. Oh wow. Yeah, I'll do that. Ebony ore. Gold ingot from gold ore. Silver ingot from silver. Yeah, I need this. I need it to make some things like dwarven bows. I can make four of those. Oops. Old diamond ring. Daedric Reaper Corrupted Heart. I can make one of those. It's an ingredient. Great, I'm gonna make one. Old emerald ring. Silver amethyst rings, silver ruby rings, those are more expensive. Silver amethyst rings. Okay, and what's it take? Oh yeah, I have to level up, don't I? Smithing. Breton, I need dragon smithing. Daedric smithing. I can do Daedric smithing. What do I need to make Daedric stuff? Let's find out. This is, what, this is the first step in doing that. Daedric armor. I need three leather strips and five ebony ingots. And I have all the Daedric hearts. So we can actually make it. So in the process of making the Daedric armor, we may be able to... Uh, well, for sure, we'll get to 100 making the, la the, the five pieces of, of Daedric that we need. So 
We'll max our smithing out, and that'll allow us to make a dragon ebon steel kind of uh, sword, which will be great. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these things. I don't know how many of these pieces I need. Because I want to make a sword. Dwarven bows, which I could sell back. Don't care about that. I'll grab those. I know I'm going to be really heavy. It's fine. Other strips. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Nope. I need the ebony. Where, where is it? I grabbed it already. Actually, I got an idea. Let's grab some of these. Since I'm going to be really slow anyways, let's just grab all the bows. And let's do this. I'm going to walk slow. Like an Egyptian. And if you don't find that joke funny, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to help you. I know my jokes aren't the best, but... The jokes on this channel are kind of um, dad mode jokes. I try really hard to keep my channel... Age... Open to a lot of ages. I don't want kids to not be able to watch my channel because I'm foul or something like that. I try That's not to be, I so... My father. I hope people appreciate that. Gold ingot, ebony ingots, I need those. Iron ore, silver ore, okay. Avenici! Let's see what we can make. Daedric stuff, Daedric armor, I need. Five. Oh, I have plenty of ebony ingots, so I'm gonna make a Daedric armor. That moved me. Daedric boots. That moved me. Daedric Gauntlets. Let's switch over to this. Daedric Gauntlets. Daedric Helmet. And what's missing? Okay, let's go look in our book. Let's go look in our book at the Daedric Reaper Crafting Manual. Materials for the Corrupted Heart. We know that. The Gauntlets. That's one. The Cuirass is the Cuirass. Stats, material, we need Daedric armor for that. We need ebony ingots for the leggings. We're not making the leggings because we're not playing female, so we don't have to worry about that. The boots require Daedric boots, which we made. The skirt we're not wearing because we're not female, so we don't have to worry about that. The hood requires corrupted heart, Daedric helmet, which we made. Okay. And all that other stuff. So we made that. So those four pieces. The choker we're not making because we're not female. The sword we're not going to worry about because I'm going to make an ebon steel one. So we're good to go. We've got all the pieces we need. Alright, well in that case, let's look at our smithing is at 99. While we're here, what we might as well do is make some more Daedric stuff. Shall we not? Or what else can we make? Black Sting. What, what's going to make cost the most money? Ooh, Daedric Warhammer is 4,000. Requires five ebony ingots and a Daedric Heart. How? Ooh, a couple of those and I'll be 100. And the Daedric Lord Cuirass, which I don't worry about. And one more. Yes, we're 100. Alright, and we've got all the Daedric Armor. That's awesome. Daedric Armor. Oh, this, we got it. I'm gonna put this on just for the fun of it. Just to see ourselves on it one time. It's awesome. It's awesome, but it's not battle range stuff, so. We do this. That's equally badass, in my opinion. Alright. You, Avenici, I'm gonna sell you some, some junk. Have you met my father? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I'm going to sell you the Hide Bracers of Nothingness. <laughs> I don't know why I have those. The Daedric Warhammers. These things. Sell you a couple of bows. Each one of these transactions matters. Alright, I'm going to go see your old man. No, it's not your old man. He's your business partner. You're dead. Oh no, really? You're gonna let me in there? What time of day is it? Come by Bellathor's shop, the market. I'm 
sure we've got something you need. It's 2.50 in the afternoon and the store's locked? Why? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. What matters is... We've got the dead pieces we need. Now we just need to get more human hearts so we can get the corrupted hearts. Alright. Bows. Borvir's dagger. Where did we get that from? What dagger is that? It's a quest item. That's weird. Okay. Oh. I'm not going to worry about it. Obviously, I can't. The Daedric Armor goes in there and stays stored until we're ready for it later. The Dragon Bones. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That's the thing we're. I can't do it. I don't have a perk, do I? I don't have a perk to spend. And how close am I to making a level? I'm not close. I'm not close. So we can't make it. The dragon steel stuff or dragon whatever they call it. It's the best that there is. It's the best kind of sword that you can make. And then you enchant it to be however awesome you want it to be. I don't need to make jewelry anymore because I've maxed my smithing. We've maxed our smithing. This is... This is kind of a big day. Kind of a big deal. Don't just say, okay. It's kind of a big deal. Alright. You don't know what movie that's from. Again, I can't really help you. Alright. We're that much closer to the Daedric Reaper armor. And I don't know where I am in terms of vampirism. So, I feel like we're going to have to feed on somebody sooner or later. But... Oh, this place is kind of wrecked. Probably do it here. Uh-oh. What's going on here? You clowns. She still got my my axe that I gave her. That's awesome. I ain't done over These two aren't a problem anymore. Something has shifted in the moons, brother. Hey, yeah. Uh, what is that? I've sensed the blood pulsing a little stronger of late. I had assumed you had as well. I think our potential is on the rise. Herseen smiles on us. Let's not question too much. Oh, the more we feed, the greater our prowess will grow. <laughs> we could perhaps discover even more gifts of Herseen. Kinda wish right, that it then. could turn her into vampire. What's going on here? You're a Vasker. I forgot about this. Where have you been? Doing Codlock's bidding. I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker. We fought them off. But the old man, Kotlak, he's dead. Was anyone else hurt? No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. Okay. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak. And they will know terror before the end. Okay. Your companion replaces your follow. See you. Goodbye. I know. Okay. Wipe out the silver hand. Well, retrieve the fragments of Wuthred. Hmm. Okay. Make them bleed. Don't leave any of them alive. I don't intend to. I ain't done. Foul. We shall put an end to them. Because that is the way. Uh, Anybody watching the Mandalorian? There's a I am. And I'm fairly entertained by it, I must say. Old friend. Patron of the great clan. Battleborn. Alright, old friend, cool. We have work to do. So we have to go eliminate the Silver Hand. Let's see where they are, because we also Let's need to go faster. back to Riften. Is... She's here with me. Purity of Revenge. Where is this at? Oh, come on, tell Not me. Great for my... Tell me where it is. Dragon's Reach. Recover the Stone of Brand's Eye. There's one in there. Stones of Brand's Eye. Oh, okay. Where is the Silver Hand at? I feel like they're up here by Dawnstar always. Recover the Stones of Brand's Eye. 
We cover fine Panteus flute and Hobbs fall. Ooh. And where is this? Drift Sage Drift Roots. This is Retrieve the Fragments of Earthrot. So we have to go to Dawn Star. And then if we go to Dawn Star, we can go deliver the staff to Enther. We can talk to Enther and talk to Phineas and all that jazz. So let's go to Dawn Star and then work our way east. You. Come on, Vilkus. You look like a clown, but we're going to Dawn Star first. We'll do what we can for your quest first, which means you will be a priority. And then we'll see what we can do. So I can turn AL into a vampire and make her understand. But don't know power of the dark side. I can take you to any of the hold capital. Where do you want to go? Dawn Star. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Let's do it, folks. You guys ready? Let's go do this. We got stuff to. We got Silver Hand to kill, and I've got all of the chain lightning to do it with. The Khajiit. Dawn Star. All right, we're in Dawnstar, and you're with me, and you're with me. Okay, the Silver Hand are up here. We're going to do this. I'm going to place the marker. Actually, we're going to put the marker there. We know where to turn off. You guys ready? Actually, I think we can get there through this pass, can't we? We don't have to go up this road. Kind of feel like that's a possibility, but we're going to find so out. Right out here. Alright, people, uh, we're on our way up here. To this spot. Right there. Custom destination. Unfortunately for me, I got 90% of the way there. And then the game crashed. As it is wont to do periodically. Which is a bit discouraging, but these are the things that happen. Where's the other one? It's up here somewhere. There you are. How do you like me now? Ice wolf. The little wolf is cold. Let's see, did these guys respawn? Let's take a look because alchemy is still the thing that's lagging behind. Let's see. Nope. Oh, this makes it quite a bit better. Because it starts to get dark right here. So between 7 and 8 p.m. it starts to get really dark, which, by the way, I love that I love that about darker nights and realistic light and overhaul and obsidian weathers and true storms the whole thing combined with the ENB um, because this is real life I can't tell you how many countless hours I have spent bow hunting in real life B between the hours of 7 and 8 p.m. when it, depending on the time of year in the hemisphere and this is when it gets dark and it transitions just like this it's yeah look at that sunset that's awesome and it transitions just like that and it gets it gets dark and it gets dark fast you know you, legally in most states a half an hour after the sun goes down is when you can still legally shoot a bow and arrow I knew I heard and then And then after that, you can't. I'm gonna fight these little bandits here. Before, I just ran past them. Is 
is the next one? Marcus is fighting somebody up there. We got a lot of spells on him. People hitting him with swords. My, my yeah. My guy is lighting him on fire and she's using ice and I'm hitting him with this stuff, so that's fun. But yeah, right here it's 7.45 p.m. and this is just what you see in real life. It's like, oh, it's going to start getting dark and the shadows get deeper and, and then it's going to get really dark. It's a bandit though. So I just, I like this combination of mods in this game with the EMB, the Rudy EMB. Very, very good. I use natural, uh, photorealistic. Photorealistic ENB is the one I use in Fallout 4 and I really like it. And the photorealism one is really neat because it has a whole bunch of different presets for things like, you know, 70 VHS movies and kind of things like that. It's got a bunch of neat presets. You can make that game look a variety of different ways, which is fantastic. Um, Skyrim seems to be a little bit pickier. So, this is what I roll with. Kill that guy right there. Drift Shade Refuge. Sorry, dude. That was me. Yeah, that guy's dead. Oh, he got blasted up into the air. That is too funny. He's got a silver in it, although. Why I would want to grab a silver ingot now is beyond me. Alright. I'm going to save the game right here, folks. As always. It's going to be the end of the episode. As always, if you guys have a question or comment, just drop it down below. I'm happy to answer it. If you like the channel and you haven't already subscribed to it, please subscribe. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching so much. Let's play Skyrim Special Edition Legendary Difficulty. I'm your host, Kobe Fate.